my name is Christy Backus from ASU. I'm going to be giving Lecture 5, A History and Controversy of Japan's Most Sacred Site. Here's an outline of what we will be reviewing uh, in this lecture, an introduction to the Asakuni Shrine and also the Yushikan Museum and all the controversies surrounding that. The Yasukuni Shinto Shrine was built in 1896 by order of Emperor Meiji. It is located in central Tokyo. The shrine is just that. It does not house the actual remains of the dead. It was built to honor and enshrine Kami, the spirits of Japanese military that died in war. 2.4 million Japanese spirits are enshrined there who served Japan. In the 1930s, Yasukuni Shrine was a popular site to visit by heads of state, even including celebrities such as Charles Lindbergh. In fact, the United States military even visited the shrine. This location stands out as the Japanese national symbol, as indicated by even the architecture of the shrine itself. Names and birth dates of men, women, children, and even pets line the shrine. At the uh, Yasukuni Shrine, there is a moving letter from a soldier named Teruyumi uh, Nakamura to his wife. And it certainly um, brings about uh, much uh, empathy and sympathy for the soldier. But you have to consider, too, that these letters were censored by the Japanese military. Uh, the uh, soldiers themselves could not say anything negative about uh, the empire, the emperor, or the jobs that they were forced to do. At Yasukuni, there are statues outside of the shrine itself that they themselves are controversial. One of those is of a kamikaze pilot honoring the sacrifices of them, and also one of Omura Masuhiro, who was the founder of the Japanese Imperial Army. But the most controversial aspect of the Yasukuni Shrine is the 14 Class A war criminal spirits that are honored and housed there. Class A being crimes against peace, which were defined by the Nuremberg trials as planning, preparation, initiation, or waging of a war of aggression or a war in violation of international treaties, agreements, or assurances. Probably the most famous war criminal, is Prime Minister General Hideki Tojo. On October 17, 1978, these were enshrined as martyrs of Showa. This includes Tojo, Itagaki, Kimura, Tohara, Muto, Hirota, and Matsui, along with many who were imprisoned for life or who died before there was a decision on their fate. Emperor Hirohito died in 1989, but never visited the shrine after 1975. According to his biography, he was upset about the 14 Class A war criminals which were commemorated now at the shrine beginning in 1978 by the chief priest Nagayoshi Matsudera. Several Japanese prime ministers have visited the site, including Junichiro Kuzumi, who visited six times until 2006. The current prime minister, Shinzo Abe, visited on Christmas Day in 2013. This certainly upset China, South Korea, and the United States. 
it was said that he made a comparison to Arlington with Yasukuni. Everyone felt it set them behind in relations with Japan. There has been the argument, however, that Abe did this to counter China's aggression in the East and South China Sea. Prime Minister Abe no longer visits the Yasukuni Shrine in person. He instead sends a ritual offering each year. However, this is still seen as honoring Japanese militarism, nationalism, and aggression. There are over a thousand war crime spirits honored there. Even Koreans and Taiwanese who were forced to fight with the Japanese are also housed there, and Japanese priests have said they cannot be separated from the shrine. Next to the shrine is a Yushikan Museum. This is a museum for the Asia-Pacific War as interpreted by the Japanese. This is even more controversial than the shrine itself due to the depiction of the artifacts in the museum along with the omission of key historical facts. This steam engine exhibit makes no mention of the fact that it's associated with the Thai Burma Railroad construction. The Japanese used local people along with POWs to build this railroad under brutal conditions. If you look carefully at these pictures from the museum, you'll notice on the left hand side a bit of text that justifies Japan's entry into the war. According to Japan, this was a war of self-defense as America was choking it from economic resources. To remain a country, Japan needed to attack America. It was essentially a victim of American colonialism. If you notice the picture at the very top, you will see Judge Paul from India immortalized here. He was a judge in the Tokyo trials that voided to acquit all of the war criminals who were on trial. You can see he here is a hero of Japan. At the very bottom, you see a very disturbing book. This one is a book that describes the Nanking massacre it's not really happening. It was alleged. This is actually sold in the museum itself. Basically, according to Japan, they were victims. They were forced into the war and they had to do everything they could to fight against Western colonialism and even Eastern colonialism from China. Here is an actual screenshot from the museum's website. You can see here that it says that they will provide valuable images uh, for this video presentation of the actual truth of the history distorted by the Tokyo trial. So you can see that they are rewriting uh, history here to uh, favor um, a Japanese opinion and also uh, Indian uh, Judge uh, Paul's uh, issues uh, with the trial itself. Just as in the Nuremberg trials, the Japanese felt the Tokyo War Crimes Tribunal was victor's justice, and they were unfairly treated. Here along the museum walls, you can see images of military members immortalized along with personalized stories. And researchers have observed Japanese guests crying after reading these. Many Japanese revere Yasukuni Shrine as a symbol for national pride and where military soldiers can be honored and visited and be at the same level as the emperor. Unfortunately, neither the shrine nor the museum address serious war crimes such as the Nanking Massacre, crimes against Korean women called comfort women, or any of the Japanese colonialism or abuse of prisoners of war. As Mindy Cutler says in an article in the National Interests, she describes Yasukuni Shrine and Museum as an act of Japanese defiance where Japan won the war and where it longs 
for its imperial empire back. Thank you.